Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now, let's, let's call for our daily bread. Now, it's so important you call this week, man, receive abundance of daily bread. Everyone you should have received from the beginning of the month. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, and we just bless you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this hour, this opportunity to bring forth your truth. We yield our minds and our hearts to you. Guide us into all truth, just like Jesus has said. And I declare every body is lifted, every yoke is destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. So, so I was sharing with you yesterday, you can produce a miracle this week. Now, we're still talking about spiritual financial intelligence. Now, walking in spiritual, walking in spiritual financial intelligence. That's what we're still dealing on. But see, I was sharing with you yesterday on how you can produce a miracle. How do you produce a miracle? First, you believe. Then, you see, I remember on Thursday last week, I was sharing with them in fellowship about how it's important. How, how do you know that you're growing in the things of God? It's when you start, first of all, processing the Word of God in your mind. You process the Word of God in your mind. And now, did you say, interpret the Word of God in your mind. I say process the word of God in your mind. So when you hear the word of God and you begin to reason and reason it out. What do you mean reason it out? You've got a brain. That's what God, that's why God gave you a brain. He didn't give you a brain that you put it to sleep when his word is concerned. No. We use our brain to receive the word of God. And so God says he will remember you this month. What does it mean, remember me this month? What does it mean, remember me this month? And then you begin to think and, 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 and ask those questions. And that's when the Holy Spirit will begin to answer you. Listen, brothers and sisters, we have been called to a walk. John said, truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a real fellowship taking place. And when there is a fellowship, you can make demands. Demand for understanding. See, when you're in a relationship with someone, if the person says something you don't understand, what do you do? You don't just assume that, okay, let me not act before he's angry. No, sorry. Um, what you said about this thing, can you shed some more light on it? See, that's what you do to God. Father, you know you say you remember me this month. Can you shed some more light? Now I've been receiving some wonderful testimonies already. Praise God. Wow. God is awesome. God is awesome. Because, you know, we, we are praying for you. And, and so when, when those testimonies come in, you're like, whoa. This is real remembrance. Praise God. God is remembering people. So why hasn't he remembered you? I think, I think you have to do something. I said, I think so. Yeah. You've got to do something. So what, what, what will I do? That's why I shared what I shared with you yesterday. Separate yourself. Pray. You can add a fast to your prayer. Say, Father, really, what are you up to? You said you remember. Man, I can't see anything that looks like that. So Lord, ah, I, I expect maybe maybe I'm just not in the right place. So so now I want to understand your mind where I'm concerned, where this your remembrance is, and then you you, you begin to pray. You be, you can just start with prayer. If you feel after that prayer you're not making, declare it fast. I told you, like I told you yesterday, I declared it three days fast, but I ended it after the second day. No, not even after the second day, the middle of the second day, praise. Because I heard the voice of God. You know, Daniel didn't start out to pray for 21 days, to fast and pray for 21 days. 
You know, that's why we got 21 days fast. For. But Daniel didn't say, I'm going to pray for 21 days until I hear God. No. He said, I'm going to pray. But he said, it took him 21 days to receive the answer. Now, his determination was, he, he, he was resolute. Like, look, you know what? I'm going to wait until I get the mind of God concerning this issue. And hey, he wasn't praying for something physical. Isn't that amazing? He wasn't praying that God should bless him. He wasn't praying that God should do something miraculous in his life. No, he was praying to understand the mind of God. What do you pray about? You know, Jesus is seeking first the kingdom. How well do you seek the kingdom of God? That's what I'm telling you. Father, you said you remember me. But, but I can't see that. So Lord, what's going on? What, what, what's on your mind? Have you changed your mind concerning this? Uh, uh, did you exclude me concerning this? I know you didn't. But I need to ask. Because I can't see nothing. So what's going on? You see, now when you begin to ask those questions, the Spirit of God is going to speak up. He's going to answer you. You know, listen, 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 listen. God didn't call us to be zombies. No, anything he says, just follow. Whether you understand or not, follow. No, when you don't understand, you ask. And he is not going to, he, he, he's not going to talk you down. James tells us, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. What does that mean? If anyone lacks explanation, let him ask and it shall be given him. Praise God. You know, Mary asked that question when the angel spoke to her. How can these things be? Seeing that I don't know man, any man. That was an intelligent question. Because you're telling me I'm going to give birth to a child. And your, your word is sounding urgent. But I'm not even ready to marry yet. I'm betrothed to a guy. But, but marriage is not on the table yet right now. We, we are not thinking marriage right now. So are you actually, now, now these were the things that were in Mary's mind. Are you actually saying, am I going to quickly get married? Am I going, because, 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 I mean. And then the angel explains, I said, no, 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 no. The power of the highest is going to come upon you. And this will take place. Oh, so, so nothing for me to do. Nothing, just believe. Now someone said, hey, but Zachariah asked the angel the same question. And I, no, 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 it wasn't the same question. Mary asked, Mary inquired of the Lord to understand. Zachariah asked in unbelief. See? The angel said to Zachariah, your prayers have been answered, meaning he had been praying. And then he now said, how will this thing happen? And the angel said, ah, uh, I, I'm, you've been praying about this matter then I've come to tell you that God I've answered your prayer and then you're asking me how it's going to be don't you know who God is I know the rest of the story praise God so, so listen ask questions with a sincere heart not unbelieving questions Moses one time asked God an unbelieving question God had said to Moses Moses listen they want meat I'll give them meat. And Moses said, Lord, where are you going to get me to feed all this food? Do you know what you're talking about? And God said, Moses, do you know who you're talking to? There are, there are things you ask God that provokes him. I, I found out, out even from scriptures. Zachariah asked and he became dumb. It was Moses that asked that question, not the children of Israel. That made God say, look, I, they will eat meat until it will come out of their nostrils. Moses was the cause of that. Because the Lord have said, they innocently went to Moses and said, look, Moses, um, we, we kind of thank God for the manna, but can't God give us something else? Can't we get something like meat, you know? Now, there was nothing wrong with that. But Moses thought they were asking too much. Just like when they ask for water. I mean, if you're thirsty, you need water. So there's nothing wrong. But Moses just felt, can't you just believe God? Hey, Moses, I, aren't you thirsty? 
Now, you know, sometimes we, we do this thing because um, what we are not at liberty with the Lord to talk about, we want to put everyone else in the same kind of bondage that we have put ourselves in. So they said, Moses, we want water. Moses said, what, what nonsense? Must, must God give you guys what? Hey, who else will give them water in that wilderness? I, I, I guess what I'm saying. Now, that's why God got eventually angry with Moses. Because God said, Moses, you are not magnifying me before the children. So it was not just that Moses struck that rock twice. It was because Moses was giving the children of Israel a false impression about the person of God. And many times we have done this. Someone comes to you for prayers. Oh, pastor, please pray for me concerning this thing. And then you, you look at it and, and, and laugh and even sometimes mock the people. Say, what, what nonsense is that? You think, you think uh, it's everything that God can give. Who else should they go to? What you're supposed to do as a, as a, as a pastor, as a, as a man of God, or as one who, who, who knows God, is to say, okay. Now, of course, there are things that people come and tell you. When someone come, imagine someone comes and say, please, pastor, we want to go for this robbery operation. Please pray that God will make it successful. You, you know outright that you, you send those ones away or school them in the truth. See, but someone comes to you and says, ah, Pastor, I'm believing God for this big project. And you look at the person and look at the project. And <laughs> you want to go, my friend, just go and believe God according to your size. No. You said, okay, I've heard, let me pray about it. Or let's pray and ask God for his mind concerning this. And then you begin to seek the mind of God where that thing is concerned. Father, are you the one that's putting this in this young man's heart? Or is this something that's been generated by the flesh? Because God may be doing something new that he didn't tell you initially about. So learn to take advantage of the situation to seek the mind of God. Everything that will get you to seek the mind of God, do it. It's your role. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's your role. So Moses said, Every time water, every time water, every time water. Maybe that's what God is thinking. Maybe God is angry with us. So, so this time I got, Moses said, where would he get meat from? Like, I'm going to leave that thing, Lord. Do you know what you're talking about? You feed them with meat. How many cows? And maybe Moses was looking at the animals with them. said, God, you mean you're going to kill all these animals and give them food? God said, Moses, you don't know who you're talking to. So you know what? I'm not going to just give them meat for one meal. I'm going to give them meat for a whole month. They will eat only meat for one month. And he did. And they didn't have to kill a single animal in their camp. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's who he is. So you renew your mind to walk with him. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And this is where repentance comes. So when God says to you, I'm going to do something, if you don't understand it, shh, keep quiet. Don't speak your ignorance. You may just attract judgment when you do. Don't speak your ignorance. Speak truth. Speak truth. Ask sincerely what you don't understand. Say, Lord, how do you plan to do this? I, I don't have a job yet. And then the Spirit of God will explain to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I pray the Spirit of God will bring you to that place of understanding where you will begin to fully grasp the wisdom of God in all that you do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.